Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today's video uh, is a very simple video. I'm not going to develop any application or uh, not going to discuss anything in uh, detail or not going to discuss something very complicated. Today I will be discussing a uh, few basic commands of PowerShell which every PowerShell enthusiast should know. Okay, and it does not depend, uh, you know, uh, whether you are a uh, PowerShell, uh, you know, if you have started learning PowerShell or uh, if you are an expert. These are the few commands which I think you all should know or every one of us who are PowerShell enthusiasts should know. Okay, so uh, the first command which I am going to discuss will be uh, get child item. Sorry. And what this command will do is that it will give you the details of all the files and folders, okay, inside a, uh, you know, uh, of, a, of, a, of a folder or a, uh, whatever path you will tell, which is generally a folder, okay. So there is a parameter called uh, or uh, a path and you have to give the name of that path. So I have already created a folder here, okay, math folder, and it will give you the details of every each of these, uh, you know, folders and file present here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this folder, you know, path of this folder, and uh, I'm going to paste it here. Okay, let's see what it gives. As you can see, that it is giving me the details of all the files and folders present here, and just uh, delete. Uh, Windows PowerShell this is a folder okay test you can see test this is a file project zip this is also a, a, a mp4 file okay and uh, this is uh, uh, these two are vid vid you can see these are also mp4 files okay uh, but uh, there is a catch here okay what if you want to know that if you have suppose uh, multiple folders okay if you have a folder inside a folder for example you can see here that this is a folder and this folder has uh, uh, another folder inside it and uh, you want to know yes, how many folders and how many folders all of these uh, folder uh, how many files or subsequent or uh, folders can uh, you know uh, these uh, files have so how you can do it so we have a you know uh, uh, you know we have a parameter here it's called recurse you can see so we have a for file uh, sorry a folder called uh, windows powershell and it has these uh, these uh, many folders inside it so it is giving you the details it has a number of different parameters which you can explore yourself okay, uh, okay. second uh, uh, commandlet will be clear host okay clear host what it does is that it will uh, clean your console this powerful console uh, now you can see that it is uh, the it, it is containing these this much of uh, information so what i will do if you want to clean this uh, all the information then what i will do is i will use a commandlet called clear host okay and you can see that it is clear second uh, uh, you know um, commandlet is get location okay so what it does is get location um, sorry um, get location as you can see that get location will give you the current path okay? the current part of the prompt that is the current path where the prompt is okay? so get location does this you can use this path uh, in a number of applications we can use this thing when we develop any application right now you should just know it uh, you will have uh, the value you will realize the importance of this when you will develop any application okay I'm again going to clear this thing. Oh, let it be like this. Okay. Second is test path. Okay. Test path. What it does is that it will 
uh, if you want to know that whether a particular location has a particular file or folder there is a particular file folder or not then this command let will you uh, give you or will tell you that it is there or not if if a particular file or a folder is present uh, at the given path then it will return true otherwise it will return false you can mention this parameter suppose if i want to check whether uh let it let this be here uh, let this i'm going to check whether this uh, folder is present here as uh, here or not the math folder okay let me check the okay maths okay. you can see it is returning true uh, suppose uh, if I want to I, I can show you the negative of this that is if I am checking a folder which is not there maths one so it will return a false what if you want to check a, a file, whether a file is present or not so let's see um, I'm going to okay um, let this be final I'm going to check whether this file is present or not present or not so let this be um, mass 4 I think hmm. mass 4 dot you also have will have to mention the extension otherwise it will give you a false value what I did is what happened mass 4 I think let me check the property here it selects uh, what is oh sorry uh, this folder this file is present in latest uh, here in latest folder so let me change here change the path now you can see it is true what if change the name it will return false okay the th uh, the next commanded way is test connection what this commandlet will do is it will check the check your internet connection or it will check whether a particular website or a particular uh, uh, computer or any particular machine is present or not for now i will show you uh, i'm going to check whether uh, google.com is uh, sorry online or not you can see here it is similar to the ping operation okay uh, in the cmd it is the on the uh, prevent, uh, previous command letter uh, on the previous you know uh, that uh, that black screen which we used to see earlier so it is similar to the uh, ping operation okay so it does it do this kind these kind uh, this thing okay the okay and this is not a command uh, this is an environment variable if you want to know the name of your computer so it will tell you the name of your computer name of my computer is satish that is my name okay the next command let is get ps drive what this will do is it will give you the details of all the drives whether it is file system that is the real drives or whether it is uh, uh, registry whether it is uh, the environment uh, uh, you know variables so uh, that uh, and what all these variables are I will be uh, discussing these things uh, in more detail uh, on my uh, you know coming videos so for now you just uh, should know that what uh, this will give you okay and at, again uh, you can uh, you know uh, get the application uh, sorry you can realize the importance once you develop any application okay okay
उसके देर इज सेकेंड वेरिएबल कॉल्ड एनवायरमेंट पे होम पाथ सो वट इट विल डू इज इट विल गिव द गिव यू द पाथ होम पाथ ऑफ योर कंसोल डिफॉल्ट होम पाथ ऑफ योर कंसोल राइट नो इट राइट नो आई एम लॉकड इन एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ओके तो दैट्स वाई इट इज शोइंग मी सिस्टम थर्टी टू अदरवाइज इफ यूल ओपन यू नो नॉर्मली विदाउट सेलेक्टिंग दैट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ऑपरेशन सो इट विल द पावर शेल विच विंडो विच विल ओपन विल हैव दिस डिफॉल्ट पाथ so i can show you that also see you can see see uh, users satish sharma so you can see here okay so this is the default bar let me close it the next command it will is about creating a folder okay in powershell so uh, this command it is new item then there is a parameter called item type if you want to create a folder then you'll have to write directory otherwise if you want to create a file then you'll have to type file here and then you have to give the path where you want to create that folder right now i want to create it on my desktop uh, <coughs> here and the name of this folder will be test1 okay let me uh, show you my desktop there is uh, no folder uh, with the test1 name okay this is a test folder it is uh, uh, it is not test one so right now uh, when i will execute this command a put test a folder with test uh, name one will be created you can see a folder has been created and let's verify here you can see that uh, this has uh, it has been created let me uh, delete it uh, once again and i'll show you you can see uh, here that it is created okay i'm going to run this command once again you can see that it has it is created now okay so uh, this was uh, ah sorry there is one more command okay uh called get content uh, this command let will do is it will read the contents of a text file okay it will uh, read the context of uh, contents of a text file so let us uh, see get content then uh you will have to give the path of the text file right now i have created a text file here on my desktop okay and uh, you have to give the name of this text file along with this extension okay yes you can see that uh, there was a uh, i have written this thing here So you can verify that uh, this uh, command is displaying the uh, content here. Let me uh, add one more content here, and you will see that it will display this also. But before that, we will have to save it. Okay. Yeah. Let's display it once again. So you can see here that it is displaying again once again. It's just a text, uh, text file, and PowerShell is powerful. Okay, so this was all, and uh, these are few of the basic commands of uh, PowerShell which uh, every PowerShell enthusiast should know. And I hope you would have liked this video. And if you want uh, me to discuss something else, then please uh, mention that thing in comment box. and if you really like my video then please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends uh, <clears throat> so that they are benefited and uh, if you like the video then mention it on the comments box okay till the next video goodbye and happy weekends today is friday bye great enjoy